Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again, testing out some more game modes. We're testing out the random areas. I've left the favourable build game mode on so we get better weapons, just because we might get some later areas that could be a little tricky. I think I'm going to jump in as Crystal this time around, um, and... I think I'm pretty happy with my starting stuff here, so I'm just going to jump in. We'll probably be swapping out our weapons, like, reasonably fast anyways, but this is... Oh man, this is quite the start. <laughs> That's, uh... This is one of the reasons why I decided to go for the favorable builds. I actually didn't think the first area would be randomized. I'm a little surprised by that. Um, I thought the first area would always be the same, but clearly not. Um, so that's going to cause some problems. The bullet sword is very nice here. I will try and use that to the best of my ability. But yeah, we are going to need some good weapons. Did I just find another bullet sword? There's definitely some weirdness going on with the favorable build um, game mode. Because I seem to get the like duplicate weapons quite a lot. I'm going to take energy brain. Yeah, I got look, I've literally got two bullet swords right here. Like, that shouldn't be able to happen. <laughs> like, I didn't even think you could find two of the same weapon. And it, it, it seems to happen on this game mode a good bit. So I don't know if there's some weirdness going on there. See, look, I just found another double minigun. Like, there's so many guns. To pick from. It's really... The, the coincidences are strange that you'd get the same thing twice. We'll go with this Ghetto Blaster. It seems pretty good, to be honest. Um, we'll, we'll go for a thingy here, but yeah. We're, uh, we're going through areas in a way that is not very normal. Um, and I don't exactly know how it works. I guess you'd have to go for a certain number of areas, then it automatically takes you onto the... Um, it automatically takes you onto the boss once you've cleared enough areas. There's a super nuke launcher. That's a little uh, a little sketchy. Don't think I want to mess with that. Will not tango. Uh, yeah, super nuke launcher. Bit scary. Bit scary. But yes, I don't exactly know how I'll like loop, how I'll actually fight the throne or whatnot. I'm not sure when that will come around, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I, I do like the idea of these randomized areas, especially with favorable build, where we, it, it allows us to experiment with some potentially wackier weapons, like this Ghetto Blaster here, which I didn't actually, I've seen it so many times, and I might have picked it up and fired it a few, but I don't remember it very well, and I kind of completely forgot that it was a melee weapon. I think I am, with Energy Brain, though, doing quite a bit more damage with it, which is really nice. I think it's uh, proving itself to be quite useful. Um... I'm going to go with the inner piece here. This is a hard one to pick from. But also, as you can see here, some areas we don't get to go to very often. I, I can't even remember. How do you normally get to this area? I don't even remember. Um, is this the little thing that, like, requires rads in the uh, scrapyard? I think that's. I think this is how you get here, isn't it? There's a thing in the uh, that you can only get to loop because it requires, like, 70% rads or something. What do we get here? Ultra Infuser sounds potentially pretty darn good. Ultra Heavy Revolver. Oh, god damn. Okay. Although, I think this will um, use rads, right? Cool. Uh, e either way, we're finding some good stuff already. Um, don't really know what to go for here. I might go for Euphoria. I don't take that very often. At the minute, I'm really liking the, uh, the Ghetto Blaster Long Arms combo that we've got going on. Energy Brain to get up the damage as well. Like, it just does a bunch of ticks of damage, so as it hovers over enemies, it kills them pretty efficiently. Like, this guy's pretty much dead. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Amazing. Hyper Plasma Cannon. Get a blaster. You have been good to me, but I'm I'm down for the hyper plasma cannon right now. Oh, where are we going now? Um, don't actually know what to take here. I guess rabbit's paws good. Yeah, I I, f I don't come to this area very often either. Okay, I've got to fight a boss now. What? <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what happened. That is, uh, it's quite something. <laughs> oh god, I'm so close to out of ammo here. Right, I need to find the weapon crate, like, super, super fast, so I have a weapon that is actually viable on these later stages. Man, without the favorable weapon build, this would actually be a really, really, really difficult challenge. 
Like, this obviously doesn't make it easy by any means, but definitely makes it easier. Didn't mean to go through there, but we're through now. Uh, I go with impact wrists here, why not? And I like, I like, I'm liking the way that we're going so far back and forth here. Is this the same, like, yeah, what is happening? Does anyone have any idea why that's happening? That's, it's really, really strange. I swear that's something that can't normally happen. Or a spear launcher will take as a secondary, why not? Yeah, I thought um, it'd be really good to get Hypersomnia, because then it just gives us a little hot second to catch our bearings, like catch our breath, get our bearings, understand where the game has put us and what enemies we're likely to face up against. I think that's a good idea, just to have a bit of a better idea. Ooh, I will take that. I will take that. I, I really want to do like energy brain style stuff here, and this is a... This is a weapon that I can really, really get behind. I really like the bouncer lasers. A double bouncer laser is uh, truly something, something else. So very happy with that. Right, we'll come down here, back through the inverted area. Um, I guess we go with extra fists, yeah. So it does seem that going through the inverted portals, like having Crown of Inversion here doesn't make any difference because we just went through an inverted portal and didn't get an inverted area. And earlier went through a normal portal and got an inverted area. So it seems that you can just get like completely random. Um, okay, it, it's just going to completely randomize between every version of every area as well, which is very good to know. I also need to use my active ability a little more often because I'm not really using it at the minute. Double minigun once again. It keeps showing up. I mean, the one but benefit, I suppose, the, the um, inverted portal coming up is they do show up a little earlier, typically. You'd have to kill every enemy before they show up, which is just a nice little out, a nice little way to um, get through it. It also seems that we can go to the same area twice as well, which is good to know. Double minigun, again. See, what I, I, like, what's going on with the double miniguns? Like, what, what is happening? I'll take Tough Shell here. With the weapons all being the same, it's, it's strange, man, it's strange. But yeah, stuff like this, just have, having a bit of time to to get nearer to everything before everything starts moving and attacking is uh, very, very nice. It's just kind of interesting to see with like that, that captain fight that I can come up against uh, bosses way too early and stuff. That's, uh, that's kind of scary. Again, why we have favorable build. We don't have our mutations, but we can at least have half decent weapons to get us through it. Otherwise, it would be kind of sketch. Doom launcher. Don't think I need that right now. I'm gonna keep it going into the fishy area. Oh, the bouncy shots are coming in. Oh, dude, dude, the little uh, jellyfish being asleep the moment they spawn is uh, real, real nice. Laser yo-yo. We saw how good that was before. I'll definitely take that. Thank you. Bullet sword once again. I'm telling you, the same the favorable build favorable build has some interesting stuff going on with it, I'm telling you. I'll take some extra feet, thank you. Yeah, it has some interesting stuff going on with it that I don't think is correct. Unless it was done on purpose, then it's exactly correct. It's just not what I think is correct. But this this weapon is uh proving its, itself to be very, very useful right now. An extra feat here was a very, very good choice, because we seem to keep getting the um, the crystal area. Super flat can is probably good to have something with a different ammo type at this point, so let's go for that. That's what I've already got. I told you, the duplicates, they're showing up like crazy right now. But you didn't even get to see what that cursed weapon was. Um, reduce the cost of ultra chest is kind of interesting. I'm going to go with back muscle though for now. I don't even know what area this is. Okay. I was about to say, I don't know what area this is. Now I know. So I can get into areas that only have bosses. We have learned that. Which is kind of scary considering I ain't really ready or prepared. But. Imagine accidentally getting this area when you didn't have the weaponry to, 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 like, actually fight it. You'd be so screwed. But we don't go through to a loop, though. We just go back to a regular level. It's... There's some shenanigans here. Uh, 
But, and again, weapon we've already seen. Weapon we've already seen. Weapon we've already seen. It, it, it seems the pool of weapons... A weapon we've already seen. The weapons that it... The, like, the pool of weapons that it pulls from for this, uh, this game mode is either incredibly small or, like, limited some for some reason, which I find kind of odd. We just seem to be coming across the same few weapons over and over again. Although... It is called preferable build, so I guess that kind of makes sense, but I, I, I just prefer it to be any weapon of a higher tier. Maybe I'm just getting really unlucky and it's I, I'm, I'm making up conspiracies and <laughs> it's actually normal and I'm just seeing patterns where there isn't any sort of thing. There's, there, there's certainly the chance of that being the case. Um, but I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Impact Wrists is clearly helping out a ton here as well. My favourite thing about Impact Wrists is just it destroying walls. It just gives you more area. You're less claustrophobic. It just gives you more area to work with. Bump, 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 bump. Right. Kill all the enemies that have a on-death effect. There you go, because then no on-death effect. One of my favourite things is the fact that we can negate on-death effects with Hypersomnia. It's, it makes it so much better than it used to be, and for flaws like this where there's a lot of on-death effects that are really gnarly, it's quite nice. But yeah, Gatling Slugger we've seen about four times now. It makes the favourable build uh, game mode not as good. I think that's another weapon we've already seen right there, isn't it? And then a piece. Yeah, Auto Crossbow, we've seen quite a few of those so far. But you can clearly see, though, one interesting thing here is... We are on the first level, but it's clearly scaling still because there's a lot more enemies here than there normally would be. But it's not like the loop. There's not extra enemies from different areas yet. There's just a lot of enemies. Explosion flail. We saw that last time. It's kind of cool to see some of these areas with the, their regular basic enemies, but with just a hell of a lot more of them. Plasma flail. Now that speaks to me. I like the idea of a plasma flail, thank you. Um, teleport after shielding, shielding uh, fires lasers. All lasers become bouncy. I mean, we already have a bouncy laser, so it doesn't make that much of a difference. But if we find another weapon that's better, that also has lasers... The amount of damage we're doing to him now is wild. Golden weapon. Unfortunately, one we already had, apparently. Either that or you can't unlock things while you're doing game modes, which would also make sense. Right, everyone just chill out. Super Plasma Cannon. I guess we'll take the Super Plasma Cannon. SPC, baby! I think I'm getting an extra bounce because of the um, all lasers are bouncy, you know, so I think it is actually working with this. God damn, there's a lot of enemies on this stage compared to normal. Well, oh, this is cursed. Are you kidding me? No. It's cursed. I didn't realize it was cursed when I picked it up. There's literally a double version of it right there. This is this, but two. It's tier 29. I'm just going to take it. Fuck it. I'm just going to have to take it. I'm sorry, double bouncy. I, I've seen you before. I'll see you again. This is just too gnarly not to take. This came with me anyways. Yeah, this, it, that, that's not going to be viable to bring with me, unfortunately, unless I can uncurse this early somehow. It's, that's really annoyed me that has. My stupidity getting the better of me. What on earth is happening right now? The police need to chill out, and this is going to uncurse my weapon. Oh no, it didn't take me to a crown vault like it was supposed to. 
Okay, so getting to a crown vault is actually going to be really, really hard. So picking up cursed weapons is a terrible idea. Gotta remember that for the future. Ultra sword gun. That seems pretty good. I'll take an ultra sword gun with me. Sorry, laser. You're gone now. Yeah, getting to a crown vault to uncurse weapons is kind of impossible. The Ultra Sword Gun is proving to be quite goddamn good. I'm liking it. Okay. It's been a fun episode so far. What, what? So, the question is, do I actually end up fighting the crown? Or, like, the, um, the, the like, last boss? Or do I just keep going? Like, am I in loop now? Like, when do I reach loop? How many floors is it? I really don't know. Right. Yeah, because I'm going through here, but... Yeah, didn't take me. We're back here again. We, we seem to come back here fairly often. Explosive minigun. Nice. There's our double laser again, but we still have this cursed weapon locked in, unfortunately. And it will be for a while by the looks of it. This thing just does so much damage. Cool, cool. Uh, excuse me. Okay, this thing needs to reload. I forget how long the reload on that thing is without, um... Ooh! Ultra Fuerza rifle. Oh, yes, please. And then I'll take that for the Ultra Grenade Launcher. Why not? Ultra Fuerza rifle. Sounds, uh... Oh my god, it's pretty strong. It kind of eviscerates everything. We don't even have energy brain this time, do we? I don't even think we have energy brain this time. I've been holding on to energy weapons for this whole time because of that, and I don't even need to. I mean, it's, it's still, it's doing amazing work, so... The super scythe. Whoa, my god. Imagine that with long arms. Holy shit. Laser yo-yo gun once again. We are starting to see other stuff, but just not as commonly as you'd expect. Oh, man. Big assassin, where? There you are. This gun is on fire. So yeah, I'm really not sure where we are in terms of how far into the run we are right now. I, we're definitely on loop, I think, or the equivalent of loop, because we got our ultra goddamn ages ago. But other than that, I'm not entirely sure. We're just going to keep on swimming. Dude, they take a lot to kill. Okay, I can kill you. Just keep taking all the ammo that's scattered around. There's at least two more of these bosses somewhere about, isn't there? Not this way, clearly. Over here? Nope. Well, like, all the way back over this way. Oh my god. I lost all my inner peace. It's all gone. We good? 
Wait, was that so was there two vans on this level? I don't even know. I, I I don't know if there was two vans on that last level or not. That's one van. Oh hello, we found that. I don't think we're meant to be able to find that. So that con that confirms we're definitely on loop because that doesn't show up until you're on loop, does it? This weapon's still cursed. Hypersomnia is still absolutely killing it for us. I took damage for the first time in ages. It's cool to see these new weapons, though. I'm liking it. I'm liking extra feet for getting around as well right now. Oh, man. This is such a fun weapon to use for, like, full clearing floors. Just being able to, like, whip and swipe around and kill so much. Oh, uh, hello. Interesting. Um, very interesting. Give me all of that. Cool, we'll unlock some gold weapons. So I don't know if that was a result of just randomly getting that area as one of our randomized areas, or if that was meant to show up at that point. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so this is definitely two van territory. This is definitely two van uh, territory. With everything sleeping so soundly, though, makes our life a lot easier. Laser sword once again showing its face. Ah, unfortunately I have perished, but that was a fun run. An interesting one, definitely, but definitely a fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.